Glad you're back with us. Matt Lee joins us as he does every Wednesday to talk about real estate information and issues. And uh, we welcome you. Good to see you, bud. Yeah, thank you. You always look dapper. Look at oh, you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, numbers for May have yeah. come out. Yeah. So listings uh, are actually down 11% from last May to this May. You're talking about Kingston. Kingston okay. uh, board. So that will probably that runs from Napanee to uh, Gananoque up to the park. You know, actually up to seven is kind of the the, the Kingston area. Okay. Um, so the listings are down 11 percent from May to May. So what does that mean? Um, so the amount less uh, people are putting their house on the market, or they've sold. Uh, if you, just that numbers itself of what they count. So I mean, the thing is, is that. We've actually sold a number of places. There's actually it's up 11% in sales year to date. So the thing is, is the inventory is going. Okay. Even though May is down 1% in sales, so the listings are down 11%. Sales are actually down 1% compared to last May. So we had a long winter last year. So the thing was, is things got started late, and all of a sudden, when nobody wants to really buy a house when there's a lot of snow on the ground. I mean, it's it's a tough thing. Uh, so the market might start a little bit later when those things happen. We didn't have really that hard of a winter this year. So the thing is, like if you actually look at the stats, things started earlier. So then normal, it's, right. it's spread out and all of a sudden we're up 11% um, in volume of sales year to date, which jumps from 1,520 sales in 2015 from January to May. And this year is 1,681. So that's a lot of extra sales that we're dealing with in that amount of time. So things are looking good in the Kingston market. Is this um, an anomaly compared to other markets? No. See, we're seeing these things that are happening in Toronto and Vancouver, and I mean, those are those are anomalies. I mean, they're up 18.5% in Vancouver, for, like last year. Uh, Toronto was up 10.5%. Um, and outrageous prices too. Yeah, and you're going to see closer to the 401, uh, sorry, closer to the 407. Like you'll see Peterborough numbers, and you'll see these Oshawa numbers, and all these things that are happening along here because 407 is stretching out. So then those numbers are going to go up as well. There's just, it's good. It's access to different areas. And like, so you'll see pockets of different things happening all across Ontario. Um, you know, and you know, barrels of oil are coming back. I mean, we dropped a dollar today, but I mean, we're almost to $50 a barrel. So therefore things are starting back in Fort McMurray and they're going to get things cleaned up and, and get things going. It's going to allow their prices to come back up, which right. allows the whole average of the national association to come back up. Um, we're going to see dollars looking good. Manufacturing is looking good. We're up 1% this month. Um, you know, so th we had a little bit of decline before, but things are looking good. So I think that um, with our dollar staying around the 75 to 78 mark, we're exporting a lot and it's, it's good for the country. It's funny you mentioned Fort Mac. Um, the construction yeah. uh, that's going to be taking place yeah. bodes well for finally something good about Al the Alberta economy. Sure, absolutely. Despite it, a huge tragedy. There was a tragedy and, and with the, the barrels of oil coming back and having those bigger companies putting the money back in for the manufacturing, getting those those plants up and running. I don't, I don't really know how much of the plants were actually hit. I, I know that there was the homes for the people actually right. staying there. So the thing is, is you're going to have a construction end of residential totally different than, than industrial. So I mean, it's going to be um, a, a, a good thing for Alberta. So yeah. that'll be a good thing for all of us all around. Like. Okay. So Kingston, uh, once again, Kingston and our region looking pretty good. Things are good. Yeah. yeah. And you're good? I'm good, yeah. You're, you're very busy, aren't you? Very busy. Actually, it's an anniversary today, too. Your anniversary? Yeah. I wish I'd known. I, can I give you a boat? <laughs> <laughs> Phil Addis is trying to dump his boat. Are you buying that from me now? Um, uh, I can't afford, no, I'm, tr I'm trying to save my money for some hip tickets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Phil Addis, if he's a nice guy, we'll just give it to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, All or right, good, I'll ask on the way out. Let you borrow it for the weekend. Uh, Matt, we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Thanks. Matt Lee.